It was nearly a two-hour conversation about the relationship between police officers and the community at a Montgomery County Council session. Any discussion uh, about the relationship between the police and the community has to start with, with three questions. Is the police department hiring the right people? Um, are they being properly trained? And does the police department have a culture of integrity and accountability? And of course, the answers to all three of these questions needs to be yes. Despite incidents in Baltimore, Ferguson, and New York, Minger argues that police and community relations are better overall in Montgomery County. A police-involved shooting in Ferguson, Missouri, has started a number of national conversations. Um, conversations about police use of force, especially use of deadly force. Um, people are asking, uh, uh, does, their, does their police department uh, reflect the diversity of the community. That's exactly what Councilmember Craig Rice wanted to know. And by us growing that diversity will allow us to then easily recruit more people as well. But recruiting minority candidates isn't always easy. Assistant Chief Betsy Davis says the department is actively searching for Latino and Asian officers. We tried our very best and we did. We had success, but we don't have success hiring hundreds. Um, it's, it's limited. According to Minger, 19% of the county's police force is made up of African-American officers, while 6% are Latino and 3% Asian. I took a snapshot from 10 years ago about how many Latino officers we had, how many Asian officers, how many African-American officers. We're doing better in all those categories. I mean, we've doubled the number of Latino officers. We, we've, uh, we've increased uh, even more than that the number of Spanish-speaking officers. Some council members say getting organizations such as Montgomery College involved could help the department recruit candidates from a diverse background. For MyMC Media, I'm Alini Barrows.